Shalom, shalom, shalom. Let us get it in. This is your boy, Yael Ezra Ben Levy, coming at you again with another video. I would like for you to join me in the book of Psalms. We're going to do Psalms 19. Psalms 19. Once again, you know, I will be doing this reading out of the King James Version because it is so accepted by our people. And I want to reach them. So I will very seldom use any other... Um, translation to read from because I want to use a source that I know they will accept and still show them something that they may have overlooked. So without further ado, let us get it in. First of all, let me give praise, honor, and glory to the Holy One of Israel, the God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. To him be all the glory and the praise. He is our king, our shield, our buckler. He is our everything. And besides him, there is no other God. He is our Savior. He is our Redeemer. Hallelujah. Psalms 19 verse 1. The heavens declare the glory of God. And the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day utter speech. And night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, their words, their words to the end of the world. In them has he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heavens, and his circuit until the end of it. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of Jehovah is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of Jehovah is sure, making wise the simple. The statues of Jehovah are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of Jehovah is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of Jehovah is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of Jehovah are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than the honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is the servant is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Who can understand? His error, cleanse thou me from secret faults. Keep back thy servants from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be in, um, innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Jehovah, my strength and my redeemer. Hallelujah. I'm not going to be before you long. I just want to hit on a few verses because more than ever, I have been seeing on TikTok. There are several people that they, they say they're Christians. And I see them attacking the Torah. I see them saying that the Torah, that the laws of God are sinful, that they're of Satan. They're the devil. And that really struck a nerve in me to see people that say they believe the Bible and then at the same time say something contrary about the very words of God. The Torah is Jehovah's righteous instructions and teachings to our people. Jehovah never called them wicked. Jehovah never said that his Torah was sinful, wicked, or evil. Nowhere in the, even in the New Testament, does it speak in such a way about the laws of God. Matter of fact, it says the very opposite. Paul said the Torah is holy, righteous, and good. Now, I'm not a Christian. I don't need the words of Paul to see um, 
this being said of the Torah. It's said in the very Tanakh, what you may call the Old Testament. Take the time to read Psalm 119 and see how um, the Torah is expressed, how the law of God is spoken of. But for these Johnny come lately, and that's what I call them, even though they may be older than me by age, but they have a very young mind. They lack wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. They lack language, culture, history, and context. So my brothers and my sisters, remember, it is the Torah of God that can convert your soul. Remember that. And I'm going to close on this because I want to read 7, 8, and 9 again. And if somebody say something to you contrary from what I'm about to read to you, they're false. And I want to pay them no attention at all. They're false and they're not of God. Psalms 19, starting at verse 7. The law of Yehovah or the Torah of Yehovah is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of Yehovah is sure, making wise the simple. The statues of Yehovah are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of Yehovah is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of Yehovah is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of of Yehovah are true and righteous all together. Hallelujah. So my brothers and my sisters, hold on to this testimony. Remember, if you are an Israelite, you are the witnesses and you are the servant of Yehovah. And we are to know and believe that he is God. And besides him, there is no other. Shalom.